Welcome to the Trading Bell. We have preached camp at Britam Holdings to come and speak with Tom Gitogo, the group CEO, right here at Britam. And he's going to break down how 2022 did for them. They just released their impressive results, 2.95 billion profit before tax. So I'm here to have a conversation with him, but right after his profile. Tom Gitogo is a CEO of Britam Holdings PLC, a diversified financial services group present in seven African countries. He's an accomplished financial services professional with over 30 years experience in various roles in the financial services industry in Africa and Europe. He is skilled in general management, commercial and business strategy, sales and financial operations, and talent management. Before joining Britam, Tom was responsible for CIC Insurance Group operations in four African countries, overseeing the growth and profitable performance of the listed financial services company. He also served as the CEO of Pan-Africa Life for seven years, significantly growing the group's premium income, investment income, and profitability, which led to him being recognized as the CEO of the year by the Kenya Institute of Management. Tom holds a Master's of Business Administration in Strategic Management from Moy University and a Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering from University of Nairobi. He is a Fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales, a Fellow of the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya and a member of the Institute of Certified Public Secretaries of Kenya and a member of the Institute of Directors of Kenya. Tom Kitoko, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Impressive results, 2.95 billion shillings profit before tax. That's quite amazing. What are your quick sentiments on it and what drove or what parameters drove to this? So first of all, we are quite happy with the results. Yeah. Uh, they show and indicate that our strategy is working. Yeah. Uh, the results uh, came from a top line growth, a steady uh, top line growth. Mm -hmm. Uh, efficiencies, operational efficiencies, and cost management, mm -hmm. as well as a growing contribution uh, to our business mm -hmm. uh, in the region. Okay. One would uh, probably ask, are you set, set to ent uh, maintain a sustainable and momentum going forward, looking ahead of some of the headways that you talked about that you're still facing, I believe even this year, they're not gone? Yes, yes, some of the headwinds that uh, we faced in 2022 yeah. have certainly crossed over. Mm -hmm. uh, cost of living yeah. is uh, a significant one in the insurance space. Mm -hmm. uh, exchange rates mm -hmm. uh, and interest rates as well. Uh, our strategy is working. Uh, it has another... Uh, obviously, we look at our strategy regularly, mm -hmm. uh, but we are midstream our five-year strategy. Mm -hmm. We like the results we have derived from it over the last two years, yeah. and um, uh, there is no reason why uh, our strategy will not deliver okay. uh, this year, mm -hmm. despite the headwinds. Okay. What are some of your most significant drivers of this particular growth, and how do you plan to continue on in this particular segment that you mentioned? So if I break it down, yeah. it's our life business did quite well. Okay. Uh, the financial advisors we have are among the best in the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, that means that we will continue on the sustained, uh, on a sustainable growth path. Mm -hmm. Our products and services are definitely working uh, in the market. Mm -hmm. uh, they are serving a need that uh, the market uh, has. Okay. So we again expect a growth from the demand of our products. Okay. Um, we are looking at technology and mm -hmm. innovation. Okay. What that has done is it has improved our operations mm -hmm. as well as our cost okay. uh, uh, structure. All right. So through innovation, uh, we are able to serve more customers uh, affordably i.e. our distribution costs are lower. Mm. So you will see from the results that uh, our cost numbers, mm. our expenses as a ratio to our uh, top line mm -hmm. uh, have improved. Okay. We expect this improvement mm -hmm. to continue in 2023. Mm -hmm. Obviously there is a limit as to how much uh, cost efficient you, have, uh, you can become, mm -hmm. uh, but we expect some more efficiencies to come through this year. Okay. The other thing we are doing uh, is uh, looking at our investment income. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not yet there, but we have significantly reduced volatility. Okay. 
because volatility was impacting our <coughs> results negatively yeah. previously. Mm -hmm. So part of the reasons we've done well this year is we've reduced volatility. We have l looked at our investment portfolio and have balanced carefully uh, being conservative and prudent vis-a-vis mm -hmm. uh, -vis, uh, return uh, uh, of, for our investment. Okay. So that journey will continue okay. and you will see that we will increasingly hold most of our investments to maturity because that matches our risk profile better, okay. our insu insurance uh, uh, profile. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, credit as you see it to your financial advisors and all. And just narrowing down to what you've said about life insurance, is this a paradigm shift? Are Kenyans beginning to appreciate these products from your view? Not as much as we would like, okay. but certainly not where we have come from. There okay. is significant improvement. Uh -huh. Part of that improvement is coming through working with uh, partners. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are people who are better at some market segments than we are. Some okay. organizations are better. Mm -hmm. uh, InsurTechs, for example, okay. have the ability to reach uh, to new, younger mm -hmm. uh, uh, markets that we have traditionally struggled with. Uh, the young people in, um, I in our region, uh, not just in Kenya, mm -hmm. are more technologically savvy. Yeah. They want choice in terms of the uh, products that they uh, subscribe to. Mm -hmm. uh, previously, we used to sort of have products and then say to the market, here, this is our product. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, it will serve you well. Mm -hmm. uh, please take it. Okay. Uh, we're increasingly seeing that uh, the younger people want to be involved in putting together mm -hmm. the product. So okay. you can't do that without innovation and technology. Yeah. That's partly how we are growing our top line by bringing in new markets okay interesting insights there let's talk about your headwinds as you know as a company uh, so what are some of your headwinds on britain's business operations and financial results so let me start with the uh, cost of living yeah um, insurance in some quarters is not seen as an absolute necessity mm -hmm. so if families are struggling with uh, their wallet uh, in terms of uh, uh, disposable income mm -hmm. understandably one of the areas that would will struggle or receive second-hand attention mm -hmm. is insurance so as long as there is uh, uh, the cost of living is going up mm -hmm. the window is closing in on uh, uh, insurance and other uh, yeah. financial and, services. And you must have experienced this especially during COVID season, right? Yes, there was uh, okay. a lot of that. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, the world is still recovering yeah. from the COVID uh, Effect. uh, effects. Mm -hmm. uh, so just when we thought we were recovering, uh, some country thought to invade another. And obviously the subsequent logistical challenges, delays, um, and so on, mm -hmm. uh, have impacted the whole world. So yeah. uh, we've seen uh, that impacting uh, negatively on our business mm -hmm. through, you know, of course, the impact on exchange rates, mm -hmm. uh, the impact on interest rates, yeah. because remember some of our products are long term mm -hmm. and uh, any movement on the yield curve uh, significantly impacts uh, the valuation of our uh, balance sheet. Okay, yeah. okay. Let's talk about your investment income, which increased significantly year over year, uh, which is commendable. So what are some of your primary drivers of this particular growth and how do you manage risk associated with investing? So there was a conscious uh, and deliberate action we took, which is to favor uh, fixed income uh, securities. Mm -hmm. Uh, as opposed to, uh, for example, equities and uh, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, even where we had we invested in government securities, uh, we are uh, deliberately holding most of those to maturity, as opposed to trading in okay. them. There was a time not too long ago when mm -hmm. trading in government bonds made a lot of sense, mm -hmm. uh, when the future or, or the yield curve medium to longer term was more predictable. Mm -hmm. uh, you now know that that is not the case. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the 
move, deliberate move towards fixed income yeah. um, has helped obviously increase our uh, earnings from interest income yeah. and, and, and so on. Okay. And it has also reduced, not completely eliminated, mm -hmm. but significantly reduced uh, fair value adjustment or uh, uh, the volatility that comes with marking our investments to market. Okay. We're talking to Tom Gitogo, Group CEO, Britam Holdings, talking about how the year 2022 fully resolves debt. We take a break. We'll be right back.